Let's solve systems of equations. by using what we are going to call elimination. And the idea behind elimination is to remember that if I have A equals B and I want to add something to both sides, as long as that something is the same, then it's possible. This is the addition property of, of equations. So what if I have A equals B and C equals D? Well, since C and D are the same, if I add C to A and D to B, then it's still an equivalent equation because C and D are the same. I'm adding the same thing to both sides. Just because it looks different doesn't mean it actually is different. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to introduce a notation that makes tracking what we're doing a little bit easier. So suppose we have the system 4x minus 5y equals 16 and 2x plus 3y equals minus 3. So here's my system. I'm going to come in, I'm going to label this as equation 1 and equation 2. And I want to find a variable that when I add it, them together, they can't, they go away. They add to 0. And so I'm going to look for it, commonalities on my x's and on my y's. And I'm going to notice that this x right here is only half of this one. 2 is half of 4. So if I take equation 2, and I multiply it by a negative 2, I'm going to get minus 4x minus 6y equals positive 6. So it's the same as equation 2, but it's rewritten to be twice as big in opposite signs. Then I'm just going to take equation 1 as it's written, and I'm going to add them together. And so when I add these together, the minus 4x and the 4x go to 0 and disappear. And the minus 6y and the minus 5y becomes a minus 11y. 6 and 16 is 22. And now I've got a very easy equation to solve for y and get that y is negative 2. So now I, that I know my y is negative 2, I can plug it back in to either equation. And I like equation 2 better because the x is smaller. So I'm going to get 2x plus 3 times negative 2 equals a negative 3. So this is 2x minus 6 equals a negative 3. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. 2x equals 3, so x is 3 halves. So it looks like I'm getting as my point 3 halves minus 2. And I know that it works for equation 2, so the only question I have is, does this work for equation 1? Well, let's find out. Let's plug it in. 4 times 3 halves minus 5 times a minus 2 equals 16. Well, the 4 and the 2 are going to divide out and leave a 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. Negative times a negative is a positive. 10, 16 equals 16. Sure enough, it also works for the second, or for the first equation. And since it works for first both equations, it is our solution. So the entire point of elimination is get two variables to be the same number and opposite signs, Add the, the equations together so that that variable is eliminated. Solve for the remaining variable, and then substitute it in and solve for the first variable. I want to show one more example of this before we move on. So let's suppose we have 2x minus 3y equals minus 6, and minus 8x plus 3y equals 3. So if we look at our equation right now. We notice that the y's already match from equation 1 and equation 2, and their signs are different. So we're already ready to just go ahead and add these together. So 2x minus 8x is minus 6x. The y's are eliminated. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. Divide by a minus 6, and we get that x is 1 half. We pick our favorite equation. I'm going to pick the first one. Actually, I'm going to pick the second one because they're the same number, but I like the positive. So we're going to get minus 8 times 1 half plus 3y equals 3. So minus 4 plus 3y equals 3. That means 3y equals 7 when we add 4 to both sides. Divide by 3 and get that y is 7 thirds. So our point appears to be 1 half 7 thirds. And we've already checked it against equation 2. 
If we check it against equation 1, we get 2 times 1 half minus 3 times 7 thirds equals minus 6. Well, it's nice that everything divides out. 1 minus 6 is minus 6. Since it does, in fact, work for both equations, we know that our solution is 1 half 7 thirds.